right, we're, today we're gonna be showing you how to place a cordyce. Okay, so to set up the kit before you start, um, you've already got your syringe and needle put to the side. This is what the cordyce comes in. The key here is that you don't drop this piece on the floor when you're taking it apart, okay? This is the like trocar plus dilator thing um, that it comes with. It comes like this. So the first thing you want to do is actually to hold the green thing and take this out. And then you take this out of the sheath. And then you put this inside the cordyce. And that's ready. So on the larger cordyce kit, there's actually something that you can like click on here to make to stop blood flow. This one does not have one. Um, you can just take this off, flush, flush it if you remember to, or again, if this is in a crash situation, you're just gonna wait till you get blood all the way back and then you can flush the whole thing. Um, for now, we're just gonna keep it off and put it down. You have your scalpel and then you'll have your um, wire ready to go too. And that's it for setup. So first we're gonna put it in the IJ of your ultrasound. Um, if you're doing this sterilely, there's gonna be a probe cover on it, but in a lot of situations, if you're doing like a crash line, um, it could be dirty, so we'll pretend that this is sterile for now. Okay, so in this particular kit, we're using the smaller size cordis. This is the needle that it comes with. Um, it's like the regular central line needle, and the bigger one, which might be more useful in actual like trauma bleeding situations, it has this one where you can actually put the wire through this, um, through the syringe, and then remove the whole thing together. All right. So we have access. So then you stabilize your hand on the patient, grab the needle, remove the syringe. And then the wire that this one comes with, I'm gonna let go for a second, just to show you guys. It looks like this, it's not great. It doesn't have like the circle thing, that's okay. I would keep this on it. So then you just put this blue thing here and then push the guide wire in. There we go. Okay, so now you've got your wire in. You're gonna remove your needle, keeping a hand on the wire at all times. And then you take your uh, cordis with the dilator attached to it. And I like to preload it before I cut. We're not gonna cut the mannequin, but um, theoretically you would then take your scalpel, make a nick, and then you shove the entire thing in there, holding, keeping one hand on the wire and then pushing from the base and then you basically hub this thing. I don't know if this guy's gonna hub, to be honest. All right, we're gonna pretend that this is hubbed all the way, and then this entire thing comes out, wire with the dilator. Pull it all out. Again, we are pretending that um, this is hubbed. I don't think the mannequin's letting us, okay? Um, and then at this point, this blood is not gonna come out of here, it's just gonna come out of here, as you can see. So at this point, Ideally, you would have a flush ready to go, and then you can flush the entire thing. If you're ultra prepared, you'll have one of those blue caps that you can put on the end as well. But if you don't have one, you can just replace this blue cap that it comes with after you've flushed it. And then there is suture material in here. You have a straight needle, so you just take it out, you suture it through this little hole, um, and then you slap a dressing on it, and that's it.